Should I tell my ex how I feel? This is a question that I get asked every single day in private coaching sessions. So I wanted to do a video to be able to provide you with direct, no BS answers to this question. My name is Coach Adrian. I'm a relationship coach, and I'm so delighted and grateful that you've put your trust in us. Love Advice TV is a channel specifically geared towards helping you bounce back after a breakup. Telling your ex how you feel may sound very, very, very tempting. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that most of you watching this have already told your ex how you feel. It's normal because you're in a vulnerable mindset and you somehow feel that relating how you feel to your significant other is going to open their eyes to the fact that you are worth it, that you're not that person that they broke up with, that you actually do care and that you're ready to do anything to win them back. Unfortunately, telling an ex how you feel after a breakup is a sure way to push them away. Talking about your feelings and emotions is not going to bring them closer. Your ex is in a selfish mindset. They're not going to be concerned about you and what you're going through after a breakup. They're going to be more concerned about what they have to do to move forward, to be happy. That's what a breakup is. Most of the time, it's a selfish decision where one person is doing what is best for them at the expense of their partner, of their families, of children, or pets, for that matter. And not all relationships are meant to stay together. Not all relationships are healthy, and we can discuss that in another video. But most of the time, a breakup is a selfish decision, and you have to see it as such. So you trying to convey how you feel isn't going to resonate. What you need to do is change the way that your significant other sees you in order for them to feel like, hey, it is in my best interest to be with this person. You need to show them that they can be happy with you through actions and through the way that you are, not just through words. Now, in some cases, it can be productive to tell your significant other that you're sorry, that you made mistakes, that you understand things from their point of view, and that you've grown through this breakup. But it cannot come from a place of desperation or vulnerability where you're trying to win them back. They'll sense it and it'll push them away. If it's coming from a place of true detachment and acceptance, then it can be very powerful. But telling an ex you still love them, you still have feelings for them, that you want to be with them is not going to work. Focus less on feelings and emotions, conveying how you feel, and more on showcasing the fact that you guys can still be happy together, making them smile, connecting in a moment, in the present moment, and not overwhelming them with feelings and emotions. That's what your mindset needs to be focused on. That's what you should st strive to do at this time. So, is it a good thing to tell an ex that you still love them? No. A love letter is not going to work. Professing your love, telling their friends or their family member that you know, you're sorry and that you still love them is not going to work. You need to showcase the fact that you guys can be happy together. I can't harp on this enough. And it's tempting. It's really, really, really tempting. It's one of the big hurdles of the breakup recovery process is that you sulk in your feelings and emotions. It feels good to tell friends or family or your ex how you feel, how much you love them. But don't be deceived. This will only push them away and put you in a vulnerable place. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you're not going to run and tell your ex how you really feel unless they ask unless they come and they're genuinely trying to have a heartfelt conversation with you. If they're, if they're looking for those answers, don't play games, as long as you feel like they're not playing games as well. And we can tell you how to reconnect with your ex by clicking on the private video that's linked in the description box below. There's a way to reconnect with your ex the right way, but you need to make sure that you're doing this the right way. 
So as always, don't despair. Take it a step at a time and good things are to come. Keep fighting the good fight and see you soon for another video.